Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog today. I have had such a fun morning today watching the live stream from the D23 Expo happening in Anaheim. And if you don't know this about me, then I will make my statement now that I am Disney obsessed. I'm a huge Disney fan. Um, and the D23 Expo happens every two years in the Anaheim Convention Center where there's all these like really fun announcements about upcoming movies and TV shows and enhancements to Disney parks around the world. Um, and I got to watch the parks panel this morning where they just talked about all the fun and exciting things coming to Disney parks um, in the very near future. So my heart is just so full this morning, just like hearing about all the fun things. And it's making me even that much more excited for our Disney trip coming up in October. Um, Freddie and I are going with our friends, Brett and Ashley, to Disneyland um, at the very beginning of October. So we're gonna be celebrating during the Halloween season and I'm just so excited for all of that. So today what I wanted to do for the vlog is just share some things I bought recently over the last like month or so. Some of those things that I bought recently are um, things I'm gonna be bringing to Disneyland in October. So some Halloween Disney merch that I am like very excited for and I can't wait to show you. So um, what I wanna do first is just start off with kind of the mini part two of my Abercrombie try-on vlog. So um, I hope you've watched it. If you haven't yet, I will link to it above. But I did a huge fall online shopping haul from Abercrombie a couple of weeks ago, uh, just to really like get in the fall spirit. And uh, it's still 100 degrees here in Phoenix, so it's gonna be a little bit longer before I can actually wear those pieces. Um, this bodysuit is actually one of the things I got during that haul, so it's kind of like a little bit fall inspired with this like fun spice paprika color, but still I'm able to wear it now when it's hot out. <laughs> um, so part two of my Abercrombie haul uh, came after I finished filming and editing that vlog. So um, I have just a couple pieces that I want to show you now. Okay, so the first set I'm going to show you, I'm not actually going to try it on, but um, it's this really cute and comfy pajama set, which I wore last night and I love it. So it's just this little like ribbed, um, I don't know if you can tell from the fabric, but it's like a ribbed um, fabric with like this cute little wavy hemline and the matching shorts to it as well. Uh, the fabric is crazy soft. I love it so much. Um, I honestly, for pajamas, I, <laughs> I don't really wear like true pajama sets. So this is kind of um, new for me to be like purchasing a little pajama set, but I normally just wear like Freddy's oversized t-shirts. I have a ton of, um, of oversized just sleep shirts that I normally wear with like just some comfy shorts. Um, but when I saw this online, I was like, this set is gonna be perfect for Phoenix because it's just too hot. Even in the winter time, like sometimes I'll wear pajama pants, but I'm usually just more comfortable in shorts and I'd rather just like layer on top with blankets and stuff. Um, so yeah, super happy with that purchase. Um, it's just so cozy and soft and um, I love just wearing it around our apartment. So, um, okay, so that's the first thing. The next piece that I love is this teddy coat and I'm gonna actually try it on so you can see what it looks like. So first I actually wanted to show you, I don't know if you can tell, but the inside fabric of this coat is like a blanket. It's literally just like this yummy velvety soft material. It's so comfortable. Um, like look at how cute this is. This is one of my favorite Abercrombie purchases, I think, ever. Um, I just love the style of this coat. It's definitely on trend with like that shacket look. Um, you've got the pockets here and it has pockets here on the outside, which again are lined with that really soft like blanket material. And then you also have these deeper pockets on the inside, which I don't really know what I would use these for, but like maybe if it was really cold outside, I could put like, gloves in here or something if I was going to put on some gloves or like a beanie I don't know but it's just you know pockets are nice to have even if you don't always use them it's just knowing they're there it's it's
it's a good thing. <laughs> um, but I love this coat so much. And again, like outside, it's this really soft, like teddy material, which is just so cozy. Um, I feel like this is a great piece to have like for traveling. This would keep me so warm. I always get so cold on airplanes. So this is definitely a great travel piece um, but just to have for like the fall and winter months. I just, I love it so much. Um, so I'll link this down in the description uh, so you can check it out. But um, this is such a great piece. Um, and then I have one more Abercrombie piece that I got from my little second um, order. So I'm gonna show you that too. Okay, and then lastly is uh, this little asymmetrical cropped sweater top. Um, I just have it like slightly tucked in, but it just comes like right to my waistline um, in this brown color. And if you remember from my try on haul, I got this top in like the oatmeal heather gray color. And I just wasn't totally feeling that color. Like I normally love heather gray and like that oatmeal shade, but for some reason, just like with the style of the top, it wasn't, I just wasn't vibing with it. And I know that it comes in, or I knew that it'd come in a brown color, which my friend had ordered. So I decided to size up to a size small and try it in the brown. And at first I like wasn't totally sure about it when I tried it on. Um, I put it on my Instagram stories on Friday night and you guys, I did a poll just to see what you thought and you guys all voted that I should keep it. Um, which I think I'm I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep the top uh, because I, I do like just this asymmetrical neckline. I think it's kind of fun and different, like twist on that, you know, more traditional like one shoulder neckline. Um, and I just feel like it's a really great top for fall, um, especially just because you're in Phoenix, it doesn't get super cold in the fall and winter time. And so I feel like I can have the best of both worlds where like if I'm a little bit cold, I've got <laughs> the one arm sleeve coverage, and then I've got, you know, the sleeveless over here. So, um, so yeah, I feel like Hannah Montana would approve of this top, <laughs> best of both worlds. But um, I love the brown color. I think it's really pretty. And I could even wear it with my jacket. Let's just put it on just to test it out here. Oh yeah, yes. I'm very much into this right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, so these are um, the final pieces from my huge Abercrombie order. I feel like I'm really set for fall now. Like I need to stop uh, stop looking online. I'm, I'm all good, I'm covered with all the basics and I feel like all the pieces I got are gonna be great for my fall capsule wardrobe. So you'll definitely see some more fall outfits coming to the blog and to my Instagram with all these pieces and just kind of styling them in different ways. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is this really awesome hairspray. It's not like actually hairspray, um, but it's this Shimmer Shine Hair Mist, I guess you can call it, um, from Kevin Murphy. And when I got my hair cut a couple weeks ago, I picked this up because it smells amazing. And it's got like this gold glitter all throughout, so um, it just kind of gives your hair a little bit of shine. I'm going to like put some in there right now. And it's basically like summer doesn't have to end with this spray. I love it so much. Um, and it's like a very subtle, subtle just shine that it gives your hair. So um, smells awesome. And I love just looking at it on my counter. Like it's so, it's just such a pretty, pretty bottle. Um, I love it. Oh gosh, it smells really good. <laughs> um, okay, next are a couple of bracelets that I ordered from Bobble Bar. Um, Bobble Bar is one of my favorite jewelry brands. I feel like they have a lot of really great options uh, just that are sparkly and fun. And uh, I decided I just wanted to get some bracelets to kind of stack with my Disney Pandora bracelet. So the first one here is, um, this little sparkly heart. This is their Pisa uh, bracelet. So it's just got these, uh, you know, gold beads all um, all throughout, and then the little sparkly heart charm. Um, so this was a must because I, I love hearts so much. 
And I also decided I wanted to get a custom bracelet uh, with my nickname Belle on it uh, because I just thought it was really pretty. I'm gonna show you here so you can see. It's got the uh, same style as the heart bracelet, but it's got the sparkly letters on here. And again, that same like Pisa uh, collection. So um, similar style and same style as the, as the heart. But uh, Belle is, it just has a lot of meaning for me. Uh, obviously my blog name, Blushful Belle, but it goes back even further than that. Belle is, uh, you know, the nickname that my mom has used for me for a very long time, uh, ever since I can remember really. My family called me Chantel Bell, and then Bell for short is just kind of what stuck. So um, that's what my mom calls me. And then Bell is also my favorite Disney princess. Um, I just love Bell so much. And so I'm really excited to layer these two bracelets with my Disney Pandora bracelet and wear them to Disneyland for our trip in October. Um, and also just wear them like all the time because I love them so much. So really excited about these. There's also another bracelet in this piece of collection that I really want to get, uh, which has a, um, instead of the heart charm, it has a Mickey Mouse uh, icon here. And so I'm like, that is the perfect addition to this little stack I've got going just to keep the Disney magic alive. So that's also on my list of things I want to get eventually. Um, okay, moving into more of the Disney territory here and just uh, some recent shirts that I bought for a Disney trip and uh, kind of going into like what I'm packing for Disneyland um, in October. So first top that I'm, oh, I love it so much this little Minnie Mouse skeleton tee. She is so cute. I, gosh, I love this top so much. Um, I might even put it on just so I can show you with the whole, the whole look. I just put her on over my little bodysuit tank, but um, I'm planning on just kind of tucking her into my jeans when I wear it to the parks and doing this like rolled sleeve effect. Just like, I don't know make it more, more cash and stuff. Um, but my friend Ashley was the first one who actually showed me this tee from Etsy, uh, cause she saw like a blogger wearing it to, I think Disney World or some Disney park um, for a Halloween trip last year. And she was like, we need this shirt. And so her and I are gonna be twinning in this one. She got it in a different color, but I really wanted to just go for like full autumn fall vibes with this like, fun uh, pumpkin color. So I'm very excited to wear this. So this shirt would not be complete without the perfect Halloween accessory, which is my Disney Loungefly backpack. Um, this is the Halloween version that came out last year. So it's got this really cute orange bow, the plaid ears and strap detail, and just the fun Halloween print with all the little uh, you know, goodies on here, like the candy apple and um, pumpkins and ghosts and bats and just like all the, all the cute things. So I'm really excited and glad that I bought this last year. I wore it actually for the trip we took for my 30th birthday last September um, and wore it for one of the days that we went to the park. Um, but I, I saw the 2022 version, uh, the Halloween lounge fly backpack and I just did not love it as much. Um, it didn't have the bow. It, I think it has Mickey ears on it, but it's like a different shape for the backpack, a different print. Um, so needless to say, I'm like super glad I got last year's because I just really love it. So can't wait to wear this for both of our park days when we go in October. Um, and then I have one more Halloween shirt to show you. This is uh, my second Halloween shirt, which is another Etsy find. I'm gonna just step closer so you can see all the fun details, but um, I just love this pattern, or not this pattern. I love this uh, this design on the tee. I think it's super cute with like all the details of like the balloons and candy corn and the pumpkin Mickey and the mummy, Mickey and Minnie here. like. Oh, I just think it's super cute and um, 
it just is making me so excited for the Halloween season. So um, the shirt is really long. It's like a little mini dress almost. So um, my friend Ashley and I are debating about, she has um, another shirt that is like really long. And so we're like, do we try to cut it? Um, which makes us a little nervous because we have no experience cutting t-shirts and I'm sure it's probably really simple, but it um, feels a bit terrifying. So I'm also looking at, should I just try to like knot it? I haven't done this before with this shirt. So, um, oh yeah, I think actually knotting it is pretty cute. I think that works. Okay. I'm very much open to this idea as long as it stays and doesn't like come untied, which is a, a strong possibility. But um, I'm also just planning on rolling the sleeves on this one because the sleeves just feel like a tad bit long. Um, does that work? Eh, yeah, you get the gist. I'll fix it later. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so this is my my second uh, Halloween shirt, which I'm gonna wear to California Adventure, and then the mini skeleton tee we're gonna wear to Disneyland. Um, so I'm so excited. Okay, I think that just about covers it. This is a bit of a shorter vlog, but I just wanted to come on here and say hi and um, just show you some of the random things I've purchased over the last like month or two and also just like express all my excitement for our Halloween trip coming up at Disneyland next month. Like I said, tons more, uh, not only like fall outfit content, but definitely a lot of Disney content coming to Instagram and my LTK shop. So if you're not following me over there on both of those platforms, uh, please do, I'd love to say hi. Uh, so I have the same username handle, uh, Blushful Belle, pretty much on all of my, all social media platforms, I've got that. That username so um can't wait to see you thank you so much for watching and i've got uh, more vlogs coming your way very soon so thank you again for being here and hope you guys have a great day bye